Hey guys, I'm Anna K. Thornton here, and today's car talk is going to be a little bit different. And a lot of you guys might feel uncomfortable talking about this subject, or just shut it off after I announce it here, uh, just because it is a little bit different, and you got to listen all the way through to make it make sense. And some people are just not open-minded enough to follow through with the whole video to even understand it. So let's let's dive into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start driving, guys, because I need to go get a coffee or something. I really feel like crying right now. Like, really. I feel just the pressure of everything. And I feel like the tears in my eyes, and I feel the inflection of my voice, and I don't want you to fall here. Uh, but I really just feel, I would say depressed. But really, it's not depression. I mean, it can be classified as depression, but it's not. What really is, is, is I'm just very disappointed in myself right now. And I don't want to start crying or anything, so I'll maintain <laughs> my composure for you guys because I want to get through this talk. But it all has to do with mindset, okay? It's those negative voices in your head that like to tell you everything you've done wrong and everything that you should be feeling and every person and connection and action you did, all right? And it likes to always focus on the negative. You could say that you have a demon inside, you have negative thoughts, that you always think bad things. Everybody has this, okay? Some people um, gain control of better than others. Some people uh, can't. <laughs> And it, there's no right or wrong or anything like that. It's just we all have it, okay? And this talk has to do with mindset, but also the devil, all right? And this is why I said a lot of you probably won't stay past this, this um, intro. Because it really is the devil, if you think about it. So what gave me this concept, actually, I couldn't, I cannot accredit it to myself. I have to accredit it to Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich. He wrote a book, uh, his last one, called Outwitting the Devil. And in Outwitting the Devil, is a conversation between him and the devil. And he talks about how the devil controls people through their mind. And it's a really excellent book, and I really recommend you get it. And I'll put a link below so you can go ahead and pick it up for yourself. It's on Audible, so I'll give you the Audible link. If you're not a part of Audible, you get a book free, so use that free book to get that. Okay, back to my scenario. And I'm going to be really, really, really honest here and truthful and open and authentic with you. I have spent way more money on my coaching than one I feel comfortable with two I feel okay with <laughs> comfortable and okay I guess we're the same thing but comfortable with I, I put in so much more money than I've done like anything else that I've ever done in my life is through coaching I've never spent that money on my own education like actually a degree I never spent that much money on, like, my self-care. I never spent that much money on buying, like, nice things. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, so my coaching costs every month cost me way more than I've ever spent in anything other than my house now. So it comes my house, coaching, <laughs> and then everything else. Uh, it is literally the second highest bill that I pay. And it's not even really good coaching, so I'm kind of disappointed because I signed a contract saying that I'd be paying for this coaching, and now I'm conflicted about it. So I don't have buyer's remorse. I just really have buyer's, like, what the F. <laughs> like, and the only reason I say what the F is because basically it's the same thing. I already learned that I paid $15,000 to another coach to teach me. Actually, it's even worse. It's even worse. And why is it worse? Because... The coaching that I essentially paying all this extra money for is like a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's still a group. So you get into a small group, you can get your answers, your questions answered, but it's only like an hour, and it's once a month, and it's totally not worth it <laughs> because it's not even like they do any work for you at all. 
Like there's no other services that do work for you. There might be. I think they have a they have another company actually. It's a PR company that will do press releases for you. So what my thing is is I was made to believe that I would get a coach that already been where I wanted to go. And the coach that I have isn't where I want to go. In fact, she's not even in the same industry as me. Kind of is, because it's business coaching, business coaching, she's coaching me. But on the flip side, I want to get into television and like TV and all that. And as far as I know, she has zero TV experience. None. Like, I cannot ask her about her experiences. I cannot ask her about, you know, the show she's been on. I cannot ask her about what she recommends. I mean, the whole reason I paid for the coaching is to actually have somebody that's been doing it in the industry. And then the business coaching was just a bonus, was just extra. I didn't need another business coach. Like, I'm a business coach. I already paid fifteen over fifteen thousand dollars in business. In fact, I paid probably forty thousand dollars because I'm not even considering my other business coaches. So yeah, so if I add them all up, that's like forty grand I spent in business coaching, <laughs> and it's essentially all the same structure or idea. And I'm really good at it. I'm really good at business online. I built a multi-million dollar business online already, you know, I can build it again, same exact system, it's just the new system I've learned how to build it is how to scale it with people, I mean, that's, that's the only reason I hired all the other business coaches, it's okay, well, now that I know how to build the business online, how do I scale it with people efficiently and effectively and use automations, because I've never used automations before. So that's what I was paying for. This other business coaching doesn't even go into any of that. There's some recordings, but they're basically useless because they don't show you any behind the scenes. They just tell you theory. And it's not even the whole program. It's like a PDF with just like an outline of what they basically do. And then they say run ads. I was like, well, that's nice. <laughs> well, if I had a shit ton more money, excuse my language, to buy more ads because I already filled up that once. Spent over $10,000 on it. My mistake. I was getting really good leads. The only problem is it wasn't converting to my website because I had some kind of technical difficulty. And I didn't know how to fix it. So, lost all those leads. Yeah, but on the flip side of that, you know, I've got... I. I gotta invest in myself and make mistakes to learn. But the whole reason, like I said, I paid for this business, this business course or PR course, really. I didn't even know it was like a business slash PR course. I just thought it was a PR course. And they were like, well, it's business coaching too. And I'm like, okay, awesome. I need some help on that. Oh, and you could pay for a personal coach and it'd be a little bit more money a month, and I'm like, alright, cool, I could use a personal coach. Oh, well, you only meet once a month, and it's in a group. And it's only for, like, 45 minutes. Like, oh. And you guys got, like, five minutes to ask a question. <laughs> like, oh. So there's no review of accounts? Like, at all? You're just like, hey, you know, what do you think of this? And then it's a bunch of emails back and forth, which I hate emails, guys. I really hate emails. Like, it just, it's like, if you're dyslexic, and they ask you to write a report, okay, that's, that's where I'm at with emails. It's like if you're dyslexic, and they ask you the only way that you're going to get help is if you write an email, and I'm just like, yeah, that's where I'm at, so, or they're asking like a blind person to see, you know, it's like, it's just... I just can't, like, <laughs> you don't know how hard it is for me, like, it's a real struggle, like, a real struggle, you know, staying focused is a real struggle some days, because there's negative voices, anyhow, that's some context for you, 
So I'm disappointed in myself, and now you know some reason why. Not only that, that business side of stuff aside, personal side too. Like if you've seen my other videos about relationships and you know how I felt in the moment that I recorded it, which it's always an up and down. I'm so confused with relationships sometimes and I really think it's just because I'm not attracting the right person for me or maybe I am and I'm just overlooking them because I don't feel like they're qualified or something. And I hate to sound like snooty or anything like that, but if I'm not attracted to you because maybe you're really overweight or maybe because like, oh, come on guys, I dropped you. Maybe because you're really overweight or maybe because I can't really understand what you're saying <laughs> or, you know, you have like this way of communicating that's hard to follow. I mean, that's the only real reason I have issues, you know, with people or they expect me to pay for everything or give them everything for free. It's really not the people I'm looking for or person. I'm not really looking for people. I'm looking for a person. I really just want somebody that I know will be there my good times and my bad and can hold me and hug me and be the leader in my relationship. So I don't have to show up masculine in our relationship. I want them to show up masculine in the relationship. I want them to be able to like take control and be confident. I hate like um, being the strongest one in the relationship, right? Especially if you're an entrepreneur, you have to be strong for your company and you got to be strong for your people, but you need that support system too. And I just can't find that person. And I kind of just left it up to God or the universe. And it seems like all I get is like one night stands or a lot of people loving my stuff or saying how pretty I am or thankful that they know me. And <laughs> they're all like either married or they're in a serious relationship or they're just not into me because like, I kind of like say, hey, you know, you want to go out or do something? Or I end up with like some really good looking guy and we have a one night stand or a multi night stand. <laughs> like, it, that's my life. And it's just, it's so different than when I first started dating. Like, I don't remember a time that I was ever with somebody that it was a lot of work. It was just easy. It was like, sure, it's like hard and just like, hey, do you really like me? Do they really like me or not? And there's some ones that you, I could say that got away that I never expressed my feelings for. They were dating somebody at the time or, you know, it just never worked out. But, you know, looking back at where those relationships are, it was, it was fine that it never did. Um, but, uh, you know, for the ones that did work out that I was happy with for a while, even my long-term, you know, partnership, marriage, uh, and that, you know, at the end of the day, it's a two-sided street. I'm willing to commit to somebody regardless of faults and, and everything else to an extent. Now, if you're just going to leave me somewhere, now you're triggering my most personal, like, downfall of like my personality if you don't message me like every few days or every day or just say hi or how you doing or how you been you already lost me <laughs> because abandonment is my number one trigger right I have my dad that wasn't in my life and I hate to go back this far but it's really what defines a person right because it doesn't affect me as a person because I know what it, my triggers are, right? So I try not to get triggered, obviously. Or I talk myself down, like, from the peak of depression when it does come up. For example, I went out twice um, when I was at the last business conference, 10X, and two of the people that I went with to two places left me. <laughs> and it was just like, oh... Okay, I thought we were getting along. You were kind of into me. You're kind of hitting on me. I kind of, you know, broke it off with you. And maybe that's this is the reproduction of that, you know. It, but it wasn't intentional. One was because I was in a totally different, like, take it group. <laughs> and the other one was because I was hungry and I just needed some space. And they were literally like tracking me <laughs> I was just like I just need a second to myself 
Um, which I should just been more clear with my words, you know. But then I was also being playful. Me being playful can be taken the wrong way of me being rude. <laughs> and I can see that now. I didn't see it at the time. But now looking back and self-reflecting, which I do a lot, I can see how that could have been taken wrong. I mean, yeah, I need my space. But then I thought I was also being playful and be like, hey, come on, chase me. You know. And yeah. So anyhow. Uh, just. Relationships are hard. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. It used to be so easy. But I guess because I was just a big pushover and I ended up in abusive relationships. And that's probably why. Because they weren't ever easy. It's just I accepted low quality people. Um, and I'm still, I guess, accepting low quality people, which is not good. You know, I need a high quality person in my life. One with values. One that, you know, wants to know me for me, not just for how I look. Or what I have. Because I get those too. <laughs> Either way. Mindset. It's all about mindset. Where, where. Where are we? Where are we in our head? What do we think about ourselves? And it all has to do with. Like I said. The devil in your head. That that notion that you're not good enough or you'll never be good enough or not worthy enough or you're not trying hard enough or you're not doing enough and or you don't look good enough or nobody cares enough or <laughs> it's like oh my goodness there's just so much to say there but again it's all because oh shit I'm trying to get across but I can't because I've got this one guy that's backing up I got the UPS guy yeah, I'll just sit here for a second. I can't go. There's a car. <laughs> okay. And this guy's like right out in the middle of the road. Oh shoot, it's the wrong one. I do this all the time. All right, I'm gonna turn here. This town is super busy and I'll just find somewhere to park. Anyhow, like I said, I used to be so confident before all of this. Like I was confident knowing what I was doing. And sure, I had them up and down. And somebody just went down oh, the wrong way. There's a parking spot right there. Two of them. Okay, so I'll have to come back around. Um, but yeah, it's all about mindset. It's all about, you know, where you're going, who you're going with. That makes a difference. There's a parking spot right here. I'll just take this one. Uh, it's actually pretty tight. I don't like it. Uh, let's see. There's one over here. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's private parking. Okay, we're just not going to go there. We're going to go over here. Oh, look, there's a bad parking over here. I never noticed that. Right on the road. Yeah, they added a bunch of them right through here. Which this whole thing over here should have been parking. And it's not. Mm, okay. So, all about mindset, guys. You know, when the devil talks to you in your ear, you can choose not to listen. You are not your thoughts. You are not the words that you hear in your head. You're only the actions that you do based on the information given to you, either by yourself or within your own mind. Let's see, what does this say? Sewer maintenance projects. Okay. Five something. All right. I don't know if that means I can't park here or not, but I don't see a sewer thing here. I don't think. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. Oh, well, it's at five. I, I think I'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna be here till five. Anyhow, I've got two hours. So, stay focused on who you are. Okay, despite what's going on in your head, because you're not that. You're only that if you choose to be that. And I'll suck you in. And I'll take you out. If you let it. Just don't let it. 
watch some motivational tracks. You can watch mine. I do plenty of them on TikTok and Instagram. The reels, even the shorts here on uh, YouTube. I promise to come out with more on my uh, podcast, amina.fm, A-M-E-N-A dot F-M. Let's go put the www in front of that. So www.amina.fm, and you'll go over to my podcast and listen to those. Um, I have quite a bit there. I'll be taping more soon. Um, but yeah, it's all about mindset. It's all about self-motivation. It's all about discipline and staying true to yourself. All right, guys. Much love. Talk to you soon. Take care.